Right. I don't, I don't have an answer for that uh, in the sense that data visualization is such a broad term. Uh, you can say, what is art? Uh, you can say, what is language? You can say, what is um, expression? And when, when did expression start? Data visualization, people will say, is some form of encoding geometrically information into shapes and colors so that you don't need to look at the numbers and do curve fitting in your head because the curve is already fit on paper. So it's a kind of aggregate statistics. And there were figures that people drew, you know, a long time ago. Napoleon's March is a, is a, is a very popular one of, of the size of the army that uh, um, walked to Russia and, and then back and then you see that the size is dropping and dropping and dropping because people are dying. Um, and it's, it's, in a way, some people think data visualization is some form of magic in, in that it offers you a shortcut into understanding. But we've been drawing curves, we've been drawing cubes and shapes and parabolas, and that is a data visualization, that's a model visualization. And uh, you still have to do the math, but you can draw the parabola. S data visualization gives this weird option for not having to do the math, for somehow doing the math for you and hoping that you will not make the wrong interpretation, that you will somehow intuitively understand what is being done. And of course, that's really hard. Um, so it, it, is, it is something that graphical objects that are driven by information as opposed to, I guess, concepts. But, you know, everybody has their own definition of what it is.